Paleoanthropology, among the youngest of the sciences, a discipline that attempts to reconstruct the past from evidence so fragmented it would make a forensic scientist cry. We have come a long way since the early days of paleoanthropological research in the 1860s. The application of a forensic methodology, the many fossil hominin discoveries, that never cease to evolve our understanding of our evolution to the benefits we have gained via the advance of technology in archaeogenetics and radiometric dating. The evidence challenges us to question, and question again, our understanding of the past. We are no longer simply human. We are animals. And that has been the most difficult bitter pill to swallow, even for scientists, the most critical of thinkers. We are no longer as invested in trying to find that key hominin. We understand the value of extracting and interrogating every piece of evidence from the earth. Hominins are not separate entities in a landscape. They are part of many ecosystems, interacting in different ways to a wide array of fauna and flora, from the carnivore to the herbivore to the vegetation. Paleoanthropologists know the value of plants to infer the type of climate and they understand the biogeographic movement of fauna from one end of a continent to another can help infer hominin movements throughout the world. Paleoanthropology is the most difficult science there is, but the technological and hypothetical advances since 1856 show that we have a significantly clearer picture of hominin evolution than ever before. Much still needs to be learned. But that is what makes paleoanthropology exciting.